Hello Canvas users, this is Dr. Dan Baker with a video of how to add a clickable button instead of just a link if you're also using the Canvas design tools put out by City Lab. So you need these two things, working with Canvas and also the design tools. And so I'll show you how we can do that. And just here on my homepage here, you can see this is a standard link. This is a button where the whole button is essentially the link itself. And there's a tool in design tools to do that. So in order to create that, let's go into edit. So it's going to edit my page. Now I like to close my menu over here on the left, clicking the hamburger button, getting a little bit more space. Uh, and then I can open things up. I could go full screen. I should just do that. Let's go full screen here so we can see a little bit more. And we have these buttons. I want to add a new button here. I'm going to add another help session on Tuesdays here in this space. So first of all, I need to put the text in here. And so that text, uh, I'll just paste that in. I had that sitting in my clipboard. So I pasted that in. We're going to have a Tuesday 3 to 4.30 help session. Now I do need to turn this into a link before I can turn it into a button. Okay, so turn into a link. You can hit Control K is the insert link, or you can go to the menu to insert a link. And that address is going to be... Uh, it's actually this one right here. That Zoom address I'd used previously, so it showed in the drop-down menu, and so I hit OK. All right, so right now this is a clickable link, but I want to turn it in again into a button. So I'm going to open my design tools um, here at Colorado State University. This launches from the rocket in the upper right corner. Click on that. It brings up my sidebar. So we'll go to the full screen view here. This works fine. So I click inside this link. I come over here to my bar, and as you can see, a series of different tools here. I've highlighted some of these others in some of my other videos. For this one, I'm going to look at customize the style. Okay, because I am currently clicked within a link, the thing I'm going to customize is that link. If I was clicked over here in just text, I would be customizing that text. Okay, it's basically color and background, foreground, different things. But here inside a link again, uh, it allows me this full menu here to customize that. And so I'm going to go with this is kind of some pre-built styles. I'm going to go with my canvas primary. Okay, so that's going to get the color the same let's see here, as the other boxes here but I want to have that be a little bit bigger and so if I scroll down just a little further you can see these button sizes okay so the buttons that go all the way across are the large block and so you can play around with those it also increased my font size a little bit now the last step I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a icon just to dress it up one step more and so I'm going to close this um, customize the style. Now to add the icons, it is one of these advanced elements. If you don't have icons showing in your advanced elements, you can go up here into settings and essentially pick out the icons um, advanced element tool. And so we can open this up. Uh, once again, I want to be clicked right in the place where I want to insert that. Insert icon at cursor. Click there. I'm going to type in here question. Comes up with a question mark. And I use the solid version of that. So it inserted that question mark right there. And so now what I have, as opposed to basically a, a clickable link, is a whole button that is a link itself. Um, then we always want to make sure that we save. So I'm going to save my page. And here I am left with now another button. I've got another help session here, which uh, automatically links over to my Zoom page from 3 till 4.30 p.m. So I hope that was helpful to see how to insert a button instead of just a clickable link using Canvas and also the design tools.